bitch ass bullshit. Got off lucky, homie. Franklin, my man! Listen, my buddy's got his boat out. I can drop you over it if you've got the balls! Man, you suck. Yeah, man, look, I'm gonna leave you for the ambulance, all right? Hey there, pussy. Are you watching? This is safer than crossing the street. Ooh, 
Bullshit. Bullshit. Well, less people have died doing this than crossing the street. How about that? <laughs> they called me insane when I said sell all your American equities, and now look at this shithole. <sighs> Come on, lady boy. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> yeah! History coming at you live! Aim for that flatbed truck down there! Truck? What fucking truck? The one that's accelerating, duh! Yeah, I see it. Okay, whatever you say, man. Oh, look who put on his big boy pants this morning. Ah. Truck. The one that's accelerating, duh! Ha ha! Boom! Fear cocktail with the twist! Shake it, not stirred! Drink it in, big guy! Yeah, I see it! Okay, whatever you say, man! Dominator didn't make it. Anyway, I'm gonna drop you off at the rendezvous spot, all right? Gangster by night, parachuting pussy by day. Oh, you should make that your log line. Sales, bro, who's buying? Not me, overpriced. <laughs> hey, we'll hook up over to the Landak Reservoir, and I might shift your rating from sell to a hold. Done. Mrs. Amanda give me pill? She say it make me clean quicker. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. You said it. Come in, look around.
That material is imported. Bye, enjoy your purchase. Welcome. Get in the back, Pop! A limo gem? Really? Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make right. even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy! Read my neck rolls. Entitled. E. N. T. Uh, titled. Cause I am. Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here! Pop, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up to be late. Uh, of course they will. No, I'm not coming over there. Are you joking me? This is ridiculous. You delivered to my clients. Yes, your picture's gonna make a lot of money because of them, so you need to get on this side of the fence. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey. 
Thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards. Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go She's over here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo! Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick! <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey! Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see? I was here, unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Dad! Dad, we gotta move it! Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. The fuck are you doing? Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! Oh. No one leaves! Gonna kill you. Daddy's got this. Who's got my back? I need cover. You do not mess with me. Cover, bastard.
the hole! Not yet! Stay put! Drop it, prick! I don't like this, Michael! Neither do I! Just keep calm! Daddy? Are you okay? I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. Take them down clean! They're going to so kill long, us, sucker! Dad! No one's gonna kill you. Daddy's got this. Our house, Mom! Come on! You said it would be safe! Oh, Come on, bitch! Get them out of our house, Michael! Give me some cover! You're done! Loser! Kill, kill, kill! now Get out of here Got you, dick. Oh. Uh, oh, gonna be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. Oh. Fuck. fuck. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get oh. the fuck off me. I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging. I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put.
came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Now that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. Try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. I was an idiot. I left the hey. Why not? Because some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. to see you. I need me some cardiac after playing that pussy, you heard? True, true. Do any of you ladies 
black wearing Damn, clown man. face? How much just to play with your titty? I can't wait to kick back with that cardiac. That's what I'm saying. Yo, D, you want that? Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me, right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> The other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's gotta be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, uh, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again. I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. They were at the jewelry store and the bureau, and we ain't dead yet. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Third time working together. Why not? We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, 
to come at the front door. The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douchebag. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. I lost count of how many boobies I seen. Hell yeah. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Lester, I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. Okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll! You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. 
I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up. Dad! Dad! You got my son in there. Recognize those neck rolls? Jimmy! Who is that animal? Ah! That's my dad, you a-hole! Oh, he's dead! I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. I'm kind of shaken up, Dad. Could you drive like a sane person? Call me an idiot, but a troll, Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like no. someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen Roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle to survive birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right? E Fuck enough! I get it! The troll is back in his lair. Now stay off the internet for a while, and don't wind people up so much. I learned my lesson, Dad. I did! Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account.
Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to your... Looking forward to some peace and quiet this weekend. Wife is gone for the annual life of suction. Okay. Hey, I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Less. Oh, no. Getaway cars in the garage. Are Good work, me? but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. So, if we can just get a hold of the train, we'll be ready to hit it.
man. Oh my god, no! Ah, it's insured. Don't be a dick. So, where do you want to go? Davis Quartz. All right, let's hit the road. Come on, buddy, let's go. You bet. Here we go. How you doing? How you doing? Sorry, man. This is the limit. Hey, Trevor, I need your help. I'm taking down that train we need for the UD, and I'm short a pilot. Fine! I think Lester arranged for the chopper to be at my airstrip. I'll go get it. Cool. Let me know when you're there. I'll be on a headset. Sides. <laughs> You shouldn't be here. Ah! Hey, T, you there? I dealt with the guard. I'm about to flip the siding. And I'm still on the way to the chopper. Chill out. Siding's flipped. Well, good for you. I still ain't at this heli.
said you wanted a train? I got you a train, Lester. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. in the air, running comms, and managing the link-up with the train. Some rent hood ain't gonna be able to handle logistics, T. rent hood That's just one of the hats I wear. Hey, I'm in the tunnel, man. When you start your field of bag with Bill's routine, give me a word. You ready to do something profoundly stupid? I work for Trevor. I'm used to it. Hey, let's drill a hole in this damn thing. Get on the floor! This is a robbery! Get on the damn floor! That's the wall we need to go through. We can.
Cages are open. Come from the way. Tell them behind me. Get the metal over here for pickup. I'll handle the heat. Don't worry about the bricks. Just hand to the police. Hey, I said this is a robbery. Where do you keep the gold? Y'all don't want to come over here. I got the other side. Just get the goal ready to go. That's half of it ready to go. I don't care how far on the ground you gotta go to get it. I ain't leaving the Union Depository without some gold. Stay back. Back off. Keep the cops off you, okay? Hey, T, the metal's ready to go. Where the chopper's at? Helicopter inbound. See you in a second. Lord of Winds. Hey, I got this one. Let's get the next one. On the floor! On the floor! Oh, shit! Over there, dog. Look up! They got to the far door. They're coming from the bank. Everything okay down there? Don't worry about us. Just get the bricks out. Get back in the bank. There's a new team repelling into the tunnel. I gotta pull out. those choppers doing? I'm bringing the chopper back around. No. Come on, man. Hey, get out of here, man. Get them bricks gone. You heard him. Go. So the chopper's away. All right, we're coming out the back door. All right, man, look. Downtown's locked up tight. We should get out of here together, dog. Meet at the footbridge to our at the Alta Street footbridge. Where'd all the new skates go? Was there another robbery?
But you're not! Hey, another chopper! I'm picking up talk on the Merriweather Channel. They know we hit the UD, and they're planning some vigilantism. Public law enforcement's doing just fine trying to kill us, so tell them not to bother. You really want to die for these assholes? Here! Up these stairs!
We gotta lose them! It's just a little heat, man. You can handle this. Ain't you looking? You can do this, him. Lose him. It's like any score, you just lose the cop. Oh, hey, if they catch us, man, Trevor's gonna get your shit. Hey, think of the metal. Let's go. Oh, we're clear. I'll check on the goal. Trevor, Lester, come in. Mikey, Mike, how you doing? T, I think we're in the clear. You doing all right? We got company. Looks like Merriweather.
Hey, look, man, I'm gonna get the car up out of here, all right? All right. Hey, you two, come with me. I'm gonna need some help getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. All right, it's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. But until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars, no vacations. No, nothing! Now, come on, sugar! Oh, fuck me. Dumb luck right there. That's 
why the celebrities come to me. Literally. Some of her ideas. Bye bye. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up? How's it hanging? Nice ride and stuff. Oh, I find the deer that pissed on me, I'm gonna eat its warm liver! Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. No. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. 
But the feds, man, the feds have told me to kill Trevor. And I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, Try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Buh bye Man, fuck you. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. I need a cab as soon as possible. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Sounds good. So where do you want to go? At Boro Heights. Come on, let's go. You bet. Here we go. Oh my God, I am so.
Sorry. Are you hurt? Travex a whole lot better. Now you can get me to phone on your silly. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um... rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I... I... I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. Hello? 
Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. Where we going? We uh heading to the foundry place. Just need to find a man that was shot. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who wanna clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking fool. Look, man, Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. It's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. You're the building. Watch your sector. Chill, dog. You gotta wait.
I'm putting him down!
something. Trevor! There you are. Man, you had me wor worried. I was a little winded, all right? Jesus! Mr. T, yo, it's nice to see you so worked up. Next time, I'll leave you to it. Go oh, look out! More agents! Ah, ah,
too. Here I am, assholes! They can't keep coming like this! We hold on? They'll run out of idiots! Are you okay? Let's finish this! like we did it. See, for now. Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. Well, hell yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans, 
must stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike going Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple of loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. The old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now.
Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey-ho! Who's up? We still gotta do Stretch and Agent Haynes. Message from your homies, Lamar and Franklin. Hey, who this shaky white dude? <laughs> 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 you ain't got no hey, that's no problem, my nigga. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he got stretched, man. Roll on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Pal, Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us all. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. You are crazy. 
El diablo anda suelto. You gave me fucking harpies. Away from me. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes these dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Mm. Yeah, well, that's a cliche. What? Oh, my God! <laughs> Guy! What's his name? He shot him! Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. A Meriwether team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him.
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Combat situation! Say something! How much this asshole paying you? I hope it was worth it! You dirtbag! Ah! Ah! Where are you? You're going down! I'm getting kinda bored of killing you pricks! Shithead down! Uh, Eat this! He's after EW! Extreme prejudice! I just put down half your outfit back in town! of SP. I'm the most suspicious person you'll meet. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. 
All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team! Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stick. Give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I don't lose! You can't do this to me! This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. Slick with a few minutes for some one on one time. better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? No, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want... nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. 
Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Hey, listen, baby, that was great. I gotta run now, okay? All right, bye, babe. So long. That's back! like a tough guy.
on, give us a smile. Look at now! Next week, precious metal detector. Man, I love the internet. Can 
that weight. Michael! Davey! Are you behaving yourself? Oh, but of course. And how are the kids? They're good. I actually mean that. Amanda, too. How's work? Work? Ah, it's fine. Better than fine. It's good. Had a few lucky breaks. Look after yourself, Mike. You too, Davey. You too.
soon. I just got some amazing headshots done, bro. Hey, yo, what's going on? Our friend Poppy Mitchell has just been spotted in a high-speed chase by the cops! Like, like, right now, bro! Apparently she's wasted! Get after them! See if you can snag a shot of her getting busted! Yo, what's going on? Our friend Poppy Mitchell has just been spotted in a high-speed chase by the cops! Like, like, right now, bro! Apparently she's wasted! Get after them! See if you can snag a shot of her getting busted! I guess that's her!
I get myself into this. Got off lucky, homie.
Ah, oh, okay, okay. GWC and Golfing Society. Sure thing, man. Come on, let's go!
scared to fly if he isn't push out the nest! Oh. Oh. Come to Uncle T. One of your finest taxi cabs, please. I'm sending one out right now. Glad to hear it.
citizen's report. A 415 on, um, Dutch Street. Copy that, we're in the area. How you doing, Trevor? Hey, you want me to fuck you up? Didn't mean that. Didn't mean that. That's on me. Stop your crying, bitch! Let me get. Hey, Trevor, these girls are real hospitable. Shit. 